Have you ever pondered over the intricacies of building maintenance and support capabilities for an aircraft like C919? The journey is far from straightforward, much like a puzzle with countless pieces requiring meticulous assembly. Our story begins with the ARJ-21, the pathfinder for the C919. The maintenance of this aircraft once took a staggering six months for a single C inspection, a duration that would cripple the economic viability of any aircraft in the long run. Luckily, these challenges encountered by the ARJ-21 serve as a stark reminder for the construction of C919 maintenance support capabilities. An online proposal by the Shanghai Aeronautical Society advocates for the swift establishment of local maintenance capabilities for the C919 under the comprehensive planning of COMAC. It encourages all system and equipment suppliers to actively provide corresponding manuals to MROs authorized by other airlines. The task of creating a maintenance network is more daunting than improving the supply chain. It demands continuous investment and the backing of more stakeholders, hence, it's a more challenging endeavor. One might wonder if Boeing or Airbus had similar plans for building maintenance capabilities when B737 or A320 were born. However, the focus should be on whether this maintenance capability can yield corresponding profits, given that this is fundamentally a business activity. Aircraft manufacturers, in their quest for maximizing profits, prioritize selling highly reliable economical aircraft that meet market needs. Assisting users in building maintenance capabilities has never been at the top of their list. When China's civil aviation began introducing a significant number of Boeing aircraft, particularly the 737 fleet in the early 90s, the construction of China's localized maintenance capabilities was primarily undertaken by the Civil Aviation Administration of China and airlines of the time. The aircraft manufacturers, however, did not coordinate with internal stakeholders to build localized maintenance capabilities in China. During that period, Airbus, in an attempt to secure a larger market share, supported the Civil Aviation Administration of China and airlines with numerous free projects. Despite these efforts, there was no maintenance capability project worth boasting about. In summary, the challenges of building maintenance and support capabilities for an aircraft like C919 are numerous and complex. The lessons learned from the ARJ-21's maintenance challenges serve as a crucial roadmap for the construction of C919's maintenance support capabilities. The task of creating a maintenance network requires continuous investment and the backing of more stakeholders, highlighting its complexity. Yet, the question remains, can these maintenance capabilities yield corresponding profits as this is fundamentally a business activity?